Okay, so now our third attempted not yet learned topic is distinguishing chemical and physical change. Distinguishing chemical and physical change. So let's let's click on that. Oops. Uh, oh. Okay. So all right, distinguishing chemical and physical change. So there are four sketches below. The first sketch shows us a, a sample X, a substance X, and then the three sketches underneath it show three different changes to the sample. I've got to decide if each is possible, and if it's possible, if it's a physical or chemical change. Okay, so um, first of all, I'm probably going to Google what is a physical change and what's a chemical change. Or I might just go straight to the explanation and find out what those physical and chemical changes are. But let me pretend like I just Googled that, and I'm sure you did before you even watched this video. What a chemical change is when atoms change partners. Can you hear me pounding the table? I'm sure that doesn't help. <laughs> it's when atoms change partners, all right? And a physical change is when atoms change their, or their molecules or, um, or compounds change their relationship with respect to each other, but they don't change bonds. There's no bonding changes, okay? It might be a change in state, like from a solid to a liquid. It might be a change in, uh, oh, I don't know, temperature, change in state of some kind, all right? Those are physical changes. Chemicals is when they, they, the partners change. All right, so now that I know that, let's look here. Substance X. So you see I've got two black spheres and two white spheres. Typically in these programs, uh, in, in textbooks, black represents carbon and white represents hydrogens, but it doesn't even matter, right? So I've got two whites, two blacks, and can you see how they're bonded to each other, right? It's, it's, it's white, black, black, white, okay? White, black, black, white. White, black, black, white, okay? And you can see that they're somewhat disordered, right? So this is probably not a solid. All right, so let's say, if it, how, what kind of change would it take from here to go from here to here? And I go, look, I've got green, black, black, white. Wait, there's no green in here. Okay, so no rearrangement of, of these, or no change at all can make green, red, uh, black, black, green, right? So this is impossible. I can't click it because I'm using just a sample uh, of this, okay? But it's, it's impossible. All right, but what about this? This is a white, black, black, white, and this is white, black, 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 black. So it's not the same orientation, or rather, uh, yeah, orientation or, confi or um, constitution. It's not the same connectivity, but it does have the same ratio, right? Look, one to one. It's rather it's two to two, but which which distills down to one to one, right? And this is six to six. Can you see six black spheres here and six whites? So it's still a one to one, right? So this change is possible, and that's going to be a chemical change. You see it? Okay, because we have a different connectivity. These are bonded differently, right? Now look at from here to here. It's white, black, black, white, and this is not white, black, black, white. Wow, what's going on here? This is also impossible because we have different ratios, right? See, this is a one-to-one, -one, and this is not a one-to-one. -one. There's, there's two blacks for every four whites. So this is also impossible, all right? So this is impossible because we're changing uh, atoms. This is possible because we have the same atoms in it, and it's the same ratio. So it's uh, so it's also possible, and that makes it a chemical change because we don't have uh, the same connectivity, different bonds. Here, this is impossible because we have a different ratio. All right. Okay. So there's no example of a physical change here. Uh, but maybe we'll do a different example later. If you ask, if you ask, we'll do a different uh, example showing a physical change later. But a physical change again is going to be typically a change in state, like a change from a solid to a liquid, liquid to a gas, something like that. All right. Hope that's helpful.